Hi, I'm Black Bright and I'm fasting my nose in America's business and I know they don't like it, but hey, I'm looking to protect my peeps over there. Um, but yeah, basically a very, very quick video to let people know that the I-90 is going to replace the permanent resident card. Now, I don't know if that applies to new applications or whether everyone's going to have to do that who um, who, ha who holds a permanent resident card. I'm just going to read um, part of what um, I've extracted. It says the I-90 application replaces the permanent resident card. Official communication should take you to the official website, USCIS. And what that means is, is that if you are looking online for any information, make sure it's the authentic website. Don't follow any other links. Put USCIS in in the in the browser bar because there are so many scammers on there trying to find out who is legal and who is not so that they can scam them and tell them all kind of stupidness. Um, in the UK, in order to authenticate a web a browser, and that applies not only to government document government organisations but any organisation that you use, make sure you have the H for hotel. T for Tango, T for Tango, P for Papa, S for Sugar, come up in that browser bar. That tells you it's an authentic website. And you normally see a little padlock, but that's, those are the only authentic websites that you should ever give your personal details on. So that's H for Hotel, T for Tango, T for Tango, P for Papa, S for Sugar. And it'll have the two dots and the two lines. OK, so getting back to this, if you need evidence of your lawful permanent resident status while waiting to receive a replacement green card, USCIS will issue you with an alien documentation identification telecommunications stamp. The abbreviation for that is A-D-I-T. Let me say that, that long title again. It is the alien, didn't even know they still use that word, the alien documentation, identification and telecommunications stamp. And, and after you file the form, the online application form, if that's how you're doing it. Um, if you applied for naturalization at least six months before your green card expires, you may be able to receive an ADIT stamp instead of filing the I-90. Um, if you have any problems or queries or you need to speak to them about anything, um, the number is 0800-375-5283 or they do have, you know, you can contact on the online um, forms. Um, as a lawful permanent resident, you must have valid unexpired permanent resident card or equivalent document with you at all times. Applying for naturalisation does not change this requirement. So it's a bit like in the UK, we have the biometric card. The biometric card is now alerting anyone who stops, whether it's the police, whoever it stops, that you are legitimately in the country. So this new, um, this replacement green card is going to do the same. So you can't be using the old one that you may have got um, illegally or it's not valid or whatever, because this new system is coming in place. I think it's in place. I forgot to take down the date, but this is recent news. So just in case you don't know, it's very important for anybody in the Americas to know this information and share it with your friends and subscribe and like. That's all for now. Bye bye.